Now for our third generation, Matt, who has a master's in business and finance. When he finished graduate school, he felt that he wanted to do the wood turning because he'd been around it so long by that time. They told him, well, there's no guarantees how this will work out, but if you want to try it, you should try it. So he's been doing that and has done very well at it. It's unusual to have it passed down through three generations and still be doing it. I'll be okay. He's still my father. He can still get on my nerves, and I'm sure I drive him crazy, but it's just uh, part of the dynamic of family. One of the aspects that I love about the work that I do is being able to extend the life of a tree. This began with my grandfather, who created a piece from a tree that Thomas Jefferson had planted. Matt was miserable in the traditional working world. So when he decided to be a full-time woodworker, I thought it was really a blessing because he was so happy doing it. He, you know, every weekend in college, he came home and, and would help Ed and, and work in his studio, and he loved it. That was always where he was happiest. And so when he decided that's what he wanted to do full-time, you know you have to jump in with both feet. Yeah, to be sure he didn't come back and hit you. My wife, Amanda, was in law school, and she had a job as a full-time attorney upon graduation, so that was, um, she was willing to support me in the beginning. 